Welcome to my house. I'm Frumpy Buckle, and you're fisking with Uncle Buck. Today we're headed over, if you got a chance to, I put up a little sneak peek video earlier today about the St. Croix. We took a little boat ride around, we cruised around, did a little tour where we're going to fish. So we're going to head over to St. Croix today, St. Croix Lake, Michigan, not <laughs> off of the coast of Florida. Uh, this is a level 30 lake. And uh, we're going to take some weapons that are right around that level of gear. And we're going to go over there. We've got six missions in all that, we, that you got to complete on this waterway. We'll film four of them, the first four missions. We're going to do the exploration. We're going to do the trial. Um, we're going to do the trout and the heavyweights. And then you have the golem lure. you got to go get that. And, of course, then the golem muskie. And like I said in the first one, you can't get that golem lure once you lose it if you catch that muskie. So... I caught him and I should have known better because now I can never get that lure back if I lose it. So I don't want to lose it. But if you don't catch this guy, you can always get that lure back and that lure is really good for anywhere that you find pike and muskie, anywhere, especially in the new waterway uh, over Mongolia. So with that being said, let's go ahead. We're going to jump over here. I'm going to get us down to our inventory. Ah, let's go over there. Right, and swap our inventory here. There we go. The sticks that we're going to be taking with us is going to be, we're going to take, oh, my system's a little bit slow here today. We're going to take a jig winner, the 810. We've got a Bremer 5000 on him. Now, that's a level 20 pole with a level 24 reel. We're going to take him. We're going to take the Loki 77. Now, Loki 77, he's a 30, level 31 pole with a double punch 4500 on that. That's a level 32. Take him. We're going to take our Arctic 132. Now, the Arctic 132 is a level 29 pole, and we've got a Hornet Swarm 6000 on him. That's level 34. Take our Brutus 1110. Now the Brutus 1110, he's a level 34. That's a match rod. And we got a Mega Tank 7000 on him. And that's a level 38 reel there. We're going to take our sword cast that we got. That's a nice little bow, actually. It's a level, it actually comes out to be a level 37 rod. And the reel is a uh, is the fire cast, uh, the fire cannon, and that's a level 37. So we're going to take him along. With our with our stars and spang star spangled crankbait, he he pulls up some good pike and musky. All right, we're gonna take our big alley bar, uh, feeder rod thirteen ten, and we got a big river six thousand on him, and that's a level twenty. That's a, kind of the smallest rod there, level twenty with a level twenty seven reel. And then last but not least, we're gonna take my favorite, the Phoenix fourteen ten. That's a level twenty six with a big river sixty five hundred on it so we can see them both and the 6500 is a level 28 pole so we're going to do that and while we're while we're out there fishing this lake guys <clears throat> we're going to talk about visualizing structure in lakes and reservoirs and knowing and locating the temperature that fish seek that that eliminates a lot of it, it pinpoints where we want to fish and gets rid of a lot of the unproductive water uh, that we don't want to fish in so we're going to reduce that even further, try to get rid of about 95 more percent. So we're left with the 5% of where we hope the fish are going to be located at. And the way you do this is it's, a, it's called structure fishing. And it, it's the system of studying the ha underwater habitats of fish. to So you can deduce where the fish may be. And you don't want to spend a whole lot of time fishing that's not a doesn't even look to be a productive area anyway it doesn't hold enough oxygen doesn't hold cover doesn't hold food so stuff like that you don't want to waste your time on and we're gonna that this lake has a, a lot of and structure comes in two kinds there's two ways it's either natural or man-made and this lake has a little bit of both it has a man-made structure and it's got a little bit of natural structure in it so we'll we'll see that and the difference of those and how we fish them and we'll talk about those as we as we go through um, what else? Now, you know, they say, it's been said that you can find structure without fish, but you can't find fish without structure. Um, that's not necessarily true, because we know that there are certain, many species of fish, they suspend 
they suspend in 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 mid water column so they they're not around structure so but that's it's true enough of the time that it warrants good discussion that you know and that's why we're going to talk about that in, in these four videos while we're fishing here we're going to talk about the different structures and you know how it, you can deduce by cuz some structure you can see some structure you can see on the surface some you have to be on the water and you can and you can look down in and see it some you have to deduce by is there a channel or a creek coming in and cutting into the lake somewhere where there might be a sunken riverbed and we're going to talk about all these deep holes and different ways that you can find structure in the lake that they're going to hold fish so we're going to do that while we're fishing these four videos i think we got everything there we got our inventory we know what oh the ammo that we're going to take for this stuff let me get myself out of the way here so we can get a bigger picture let's go over to our ammo all right the ammo that we're going to be taking for the for the first mission is basically you know we're going after the panfish so we're going after we're going to take our blood worms our red worms our dough balls semolina balls some marshmallows wax worms night crawlers and like I, you know i keep my i keep my baits up so i'm whatever happens to be hitting on that lake for that day we're going to have it so we're going to take some of that now when we get into the trial missions you know there the, again there's now there's the night crawlers the small minnows shiners shrimp some eggs natural and artificial some spawn sacks leeches and then when we hit the uh, trout we're gonna have our normal trout bays flies mayflies and shrimp small minnows dragonflies salmon salmon eggs so we're gonna we're, we're gonna take all those and then finally we got the, the the big guys you know we're gonna go after the muskies and the blue catfish and the lake sturgeon so we'll be taking our bigger baits the small cuts and the crawfish cuts and duck mussel and crawfish and night crawlers so we'll, we'll we'll have some of that too and we'll be able to pick them big guys up so those are the ammo we're going to take those are the weapons so we've got our sticks um we're going to just jump right in here we're going to like i said we took the little tour in the first video and i showed you where everything was at the pike alley and but we're going to start off in the boat and we're going to come down here on this side over here um you can basically if you don't have a boat you can spawn in at woods of the eastern bank and we're going to walk along you can walk along this area up in here and we'll catch all of our panfish that we need to catch so that being said oh i don't even have a license get yourself a license guys all right get yourself a license and i will meet you at the boat dock over at st croix All right, guys, we're here. We've got our license. Now, the fish that we're going after in this first mission, the exploration, is we're going to go after the blunt-nosed minnow, the pumpkin seed, the green starfish. We're going to do the golden shiner, yellow perch, a rock bass, and a brown bullhead. So, with that, let's go ahead and get this bad boy fired up. Oh, first time. Very good. Got some sunshine here this morning. Always. Oh, 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 bump the dock. Phoenix, some red worms on it. Sneak in here. Real quietly.
we'll start here. And there's a pumpkin seed. We'll mark him off the list. Keep him. I think that's sun. Tip the boat around the other way and we can get the sun out of our ways. Up too far. There we go. Another pumpkin seed. And there's our yellow perch. Get him off the list. We'll see if we can fix that sun a little bit. Come on. Don't make me have to put that. There. Got one hand free now. Thank you. There we go. Let me get my list here, make sure we got we got the pumpkin seed already. And we got the yellow perch. We'll mark him up and who's next? Oh, another pumpkin seed. There's our green sunfish. Mark him off the list. We need the blunt nosed minnow. Another yellow perch. Now this is one of the one of the things about structure that, that we wanted to talk about. This is basically natural structure. And over there you've got the dam, and that's man-made structure. And you've got buoys that create structure in a lake or reservoir, man-made. There's our golden shiner. Yay. Mark him off the list. We just need a blunt nose, a rock bass, and a brown bullhead at this point. That bullhead lives in that hole. I am going to get him. I'm determined. Oh, not far enough in. Fuck. But we'll see how that one works. Another pumpkin seed. There. 
there's our bump nose minnow. Mark him off the list. Excellent. All right, brown bullhead. Now, the rock bass I was anticipating having a little issue with over here, but not the bullhead at all. So, we're just going to stay at it. I'm determined. Oh, he's a monster. <laughs> we got another blunt nose here. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, we're slaying them. Too bad I couldn't keep them damn things for bait. That would be nice. And there's our bullhead. That was what I had to do is <clears throat> I had red worms on there. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Changed it up to leeches first cast bang. So we can mark him off the list. Brown bullhead. Now we need our rock bass. So let's take a look at that. Whoa, Buck, where are you going? Boom, boom, boom. Species rock bass. What is his favorite? I can't remember. Oh, this small minnow. Nightcrawlers or leeches. All right, we got a leech on here. Let's see. We'll throw around here for a little bit. See if we can pull that rock bass out of here. A little bit too close there, Buck. All right, we'll see what we get. And we got some ingots as a perch. So. Mm, another bullhead. We couldn't catch them before. Now we got these leeches on her. We won't be able to get away from them. I'm sure of that. But we'll give her a few more shots in there. See what we can roust up. Ah, too much, Buck. Change it up to night crawlers. That's the number one for the rock bass. We just got a ding. We'll see what. Him? No, not a bullhead. Well, there's our freshwater drum. Of course, that's the next mission. But <laughs> we got him. I don't know. I still got to figure out how this thing does. I try to unpause my video and it takes a picture. I don't know why. We'll keep it. What I did was I moved over here by the buoy. And for the second mission, we were going to fish off of that pier over there and fish this way towards this buoy. I was over here looking for the rock bass. That's all we need left for this mission. But I ended up landing a fresh drum right off of here. So I'm just kind of parked here and I'm tossing. 
into about the middle here. And we should be able to pick a rock bass up here pretty soon. And there's our rock bass, folks. And that'll do it for us. Rock bass, blunt nosed minnow, pumpkin seed, green sunfish, golden shiner, yellow perch, and the brown bullhead. That completes St. Croix Lake, Michigan exploration. We'll keep that little critter. All right, guys. I want to thank you for fishing with me. It got a little bit slow there. Like I said, this lake has got a slow bite rate. It, it doesn't matter. We fished right through the morning peak, and we didn't get that rock bass. I was hoping that we'd nab him up in the morning peak, but we didn't. So we're, when you look at it now, we're at the bottom. We're in the belly of the peak right now. Oh, we're not quite there yet, but we managed to pick him up. And we were fishing all over right here, and I just slid on over by the buoy and threw right down towards this pier right here, and we grabbed him right there. So... I want to thank you for fishing with Uncle Buck. And you know the deal. If you enjoyed anything out of this, even if you didn't, give me a like anyway. Or give me a dislike. Write me a comment. I don't. Sounds good. Remember, never, ever, ever give up the fight. We'll see you next time. Later.